Hey friends, I brought my laundry to today's class. This is laundry moves. So I don't know about you, but I feel like I spend so much of my life doing laundry and it is a really great opportunity to just infuse a little movement into your day. So we're gonna use some laundry to help us move our bodies. So what you'll need is a laundry basket and um, at least one piece of laundry. Um, I'm gonna use a pillowcase for one particular part of the class. So a pillowcase or a towel or a blanket, all of those are good options. Um, if you want this class to be a little bit easier, have an empty laundry basket. If you wanna challenge yourself a little bit more, have it full of laundry. So let's get started. And of course, if as we get going, you think to yourself, oh, maybe my laundry basket's a little too full, or maybe it's not full enough, you can always press pause and adjust your load as needed. Okay, so first we're gonna do some squats to pick up the laundry basket. Before we actually put our hands on the basket, let's talk about our squat form. So you have your feet pelvis width apart, okay? So you find your bony hip points in the front, your ASIS, and pointing straight down from there, that's where your feet are. And you want your feet pointing straight ahead, not with your toes turned out to the side, if possible. Okay, so as we go ahead and squat down, we want to have our neutral pelvis. So when we squat down, we don't want our pelvis to be overly arched back, like we're shaking our tail feather. But at the same time, we don't want to be super tucked either. We want to find neutral pelvis. So that would be pubic bone and hip point in a line with one another. So you're going to have to sense down below any lovable soft tissue there to your bone structure. So um, pelvic neutral here, and I'm gonna maintain that pelvic neutral and hug my ribs down. And then I'm gonna bend my knees and shift my hips back. And it'll actually be a lot easier to keep the weight in your hips when you have a laundry basket in your hands to counterbalance the load. So the inhale, uh, or the this moving down part is the inhale. And then when you stand up, that's the exhale. Let's try to focus on our glutes when we do the squat. So that means that we wanna to try to keep our knees over our ankles and not in front of our ankles, okay? You wanna to try to keep your hips moving back to wake up those glutes. So let's go ahead and get ready to lift the load. <laughs> so I'm gonna get a little bit closer to the basket. I'm gonna inhale into my squat. My ribs are in, my pelvis is in neutral. I'm gonna get the handles and then I'm gonna exhale to stand up. Inhale, set it down. Exhale, stand up. Now, if it feels like too far of a reach to go all the way down to the ground, start holding your laundry basket and just kind of come down part way and then stand up. Okay, so there's all kinds of ways to do this. Just make sure that your knees are as much as possible staying over your ankles, pelvis is in neutral, and your ribs are hugged in. Inhale down, exhale up. for three, two, and one. Okay, great. Now, I don't know about you, but I frequently am holding my laundry basket on my hip like this. So let's see if we can hold the laundry basket out to the side without really displacing too much of the rest of our body. Okay, so, Hold the laundry basket out in front of you, and before we get all the way over to the side, just move your arms, move the laundry basket over to the side, and feel what kind of habits have formed in your body. How does your body react to that? Can you feel your body um, kind of creeping towards a habitual position, or can you feel your muscles firing up to stabilize you so that your body stays in center? Go over to the other side and just see how it feels. And you can kind of swing back and forth. And as you swing back and forth, 
Try to keep your body, your torso, your pelvis, your legs in center, okay? Breathe. Who knew that laundry could be so fun? <laughs> Great, now let's take our laundry basket over to the left. Okay, so you are maybe, maybe you rested on your hip like this, or maybe like this, and that's fine. But if you do rest it on your hip, can you, if you normally go here, can you hug your body back into center? Okay, so then switch over to the other hip. And again, if you normally come here, hug your body back into the center. So you can kind of feel how um, the kind of less active way of doing this is to move your rib cage away from the laundry basket, away from the load, um, but to really use your core strength to support you would be moving your rib cage towards the load, okay? So now that we've done that, go ahead and put your laundry basket down and get your pillowcase or your towel or whatever it is that you're using. So open it up so that it's wide as opposed to short. You want the wide side. And you're gonna hold it one hand on each corner. And now let's just take this back behind us, behind the head and around in the front, okay? So you're just making a circle with your laundry item, with your pillowcase, overhead circle. So there's a lot of ways that you can do this. One way that you can make a really big circle is by moving your spine and moving your rib cage as well as moving your arms. So try that. Make a really big circle by moving your spine, by moving your rib cage so you're leaning over and back and forward. Okay, so that's a really big circle. Now let's see if we can keep the rib cage and the spine stable and just use the arms. So one way that we can do that is by bending the elbows. Okay, so try that now. Try keeping your spine and your torso, your rib cage, all of that in a neutral stable position. So especially like when you get your arms back behind you, the tendency is probably gonna be to arch, to arch up through the ribs and the spine and instead, Let's keep the ribs mellowed down and just load the arms here, okay? So you can see how you can do this with your elbows bending. Now, let's try to keep the spine, the rib cage, and the elbows all neutral. So we're gonna straighten the arms. We're gonna try to keep the arms straight as we take the pillowcase up, back, and around. Okay, so maybe your circle has gotten a little bit smaller. Mine certainly has. It's a little bit more challenging. It doesn't matter if you go one way and then the other way, or you do one direction a lot and then the other direction a lot. Just get moving. Okay, can you feel the difference? How this is really coming into the shoulder joint more than any other part of the body. It's a great way to give your arms a little activity in a plane of movement or in a direction that we don't really use most of the time. Because think about it, when you're doing laundry, um, your hands are, and your arms are usually out in front of you. Most of us don't hang our laundry on a clothesline anymore. So we have lost some of that overhead arm reach that used to be associated with laundry. And the overhead arm reach is so important for our shoulders and our spine. It's a really great movement to still incorporate into our days. Okay, so go ahead and fold that particular piece of laundry and put it down in your basket. Thank you so much for thinking outside the movement box, thinking outside the exercise box with me. And I hope that this sparks some creativity in your movement practice, both on the mat and off.
Thanks. I'll see you next time.